What's going on guys? Working up here in the mountains in the middle of nowhere on a couple of old Linux units. These were both put in in 96 so they've got a little age on them. This one is low on gas so we're working on getting that one up and this one here was okay on gas and it actually had this capacitor replaced back in October of 2012. It was a 30 plus five back in behind there and the 30 was low and because I didn't have a 30 plus five on the van and I'm up here in the middle of nowhere, 45 minutes from anything, I went ahead and put a 30 on here for the compressor and you can see that I used this red wire as a jumper to my common and my fan side was okay back then at five microfarads. That is now reading 3.9, so that's probably gonna have to be changed. But we're always talking about these capacitors and you know, Ted is always talking about the Chinese capacitors and he's been trying to use some American capacitors and you know, give them some time out in the field and go back and check them and see how they're doing. Just so we know as technicians are these things holding up under the test of time or are they getting low? So let's check this capacitor that has been on here for like seven years. And you know, that is a Mars capacitor. There's the 30 microfarad. You know, it looks all rusty on the outside, but that's just strictly cosmetic. You know, what's going on is on the inside. I don't care about this rust out here. I care about what is happening inside and Mars capacitors were by far my favorite capacitors and I've been keeping track of them over the years and this 30 microfarad is reading 30.2. So that's right on the money guys, that's not a bit weak after seven years. And that's what we're wanting to see as we retest these things years later, we're wanting to see that they're not getting low. I guess a lot of guys out there would say that it's good for business for those cheap capacitors to go bad in a couple of years and you get to go back and pop another one on and charge the customer some more money. But I want them to last, man. I, I honestly want my people to have as few problems with their systems as possible. So that just goes to show you that a good old Mars capacitor from October 2012 is still fully charged at 30 microfarads. So, that was a pretty good little test right there. All right, you guys, that's it for this one. If you liked the video, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a message below, and I will catch you next time.